class. Welcome to Teacher's May English class. How are you today? Have you eaten your breakfast? Great! Okay, for today's lesson, you will going to know and understand the differences between comparison and contrast. And these are the objectives. Use the following words in the sentence. Number one, same. Number two, both. Number three, however. Number four, but. Number five, likewise. And number six is also. Timer starts now. What have you noticed on the words you use in a sentence? Yes, Jan? Very good! Those words are used to compare and contrast or to know the similarities and the differences of a things, idea, or a people. Because our lesson for today is all about compare and contrast. What comes in your mind when you hear the word comparison and contrast? Yes! Very good! The similarities and the differences. Okay. Making comparison and contrast is a means of seeing how things can be similar and different. Things may be alike because they belong to the same groupings. But there are also ways that they are different. Comparison is showing the similarities between objects, ideas, or people. It is a form of matching. Contrasting is showing the differences or the separate qualities between or among objects, ideas, or people. Some keywords to remember and comparison. Alike, same, equal, like, just as much, and also. Some keywords for contrasting. Different, unlike, however, more than, but, on the other hand. Venn diagram are the good ways to illustrate these skills. To fully understand the lesson comparison and contrast, let's compare orange and banana using Venn diagram to know their differences and similarities. Orange and bananas are both fruits. We can eat it and we can peel it. Their differences are orange have seeds that we can't eat while banana have seeds that we can eat Orange is in orange in color, while banana is yellow in color. Orange is round and banana is long. Another example. Let's compare and contrast dog and elephant. Their similarities are, they are both animals. They live on lawn. They use their legs. To move around. Their differences. They differ in their size and height. They differ in their kind of food they eat. Since everyone understand and don't have any questions, let's have an activity. For group one, you have to compare and contrast raincoat and umbrella using the Venn diagram. For group two, you have to read the story given. And you have to compare and contrast the character of the story. Okay? Very good. Are you done? Let's check if your activity is correct. For group one, the comparison and contrast of umbrella and Raincoat.
Great job! For group 2, let's check the comparison and contrast of the character of the story. Great job! Everyone get the correct answer. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. Let's see if you really understand the lesson. What is contrast? Yes? Great! It tells what is the difference among two or more things. And what is comparison? Yes? Very good! Comparison, it tells what are the same about two or more things. And why is comparing and contrasting using various sources of important? Great! Comparing and contrasting using varied source of important because we can determine which is the best thing or option or choices is important to distinguish the differences and similarities of two or more things. Great job! Since everyone understands, let's have an activity. For group one, you have to compare and contrast the dog and cat. For group two, you have to compare and contrast the plastic bag and paper bag. And for group three, you have to compare and contrast the boys and the girls. But for group three, you have to write it in a same form. All right? Very good. Time starts now. And for your assignment, you have to study in advance in how to distinguish about the facts and opinion. That's all for today. Bye class!